Most of our player-to-player -player interactions are friendly and team-oriented, but what happens when our characters suddenly, accidentally, find themselves at odds? To the point of a possible duel to the death? How do we talk the character down while also making it entertaining? First off, I do have a small caveat here. In this scene you're going to see, the players have no beef. If there was a conflict between the people behind the characters, that would be a different story. That sort of conflict resolution would require a few more steps. This is just character conflict. Now when it comes to character conflict, we have a dance, a tug of war if you will. We can play a tense scene between the characters knowing full well that we as players are cool with each other. As a result, we have cool heads with which to tackle the conflict. Let me set the scene. Gwendolyn, aka Granny Murmurs, played by Tag, has donned a disguise and stolen Helena's horse. Helena, played by Zay, notices and goes to chase this horse thief down. Gwen realizes that the horse isn't helping, resistant to her commands, so she decides to leave it behind. Helena finds her horse and says, Who was it? Who was it who stole you? Where are they? We'll kill them together. Now we realize that we're in a pickle here. Two of our main characters are at odds with one another. It would be fine if Gwen could throw away the disguise so that Helena couldn't find her. But unfortunately, they meet face to face. And Helena, the marshal, the one who settles things with swords rather than words, immediately challenges this stranger to a duel, not knowing that it's her teammate. Now Gwen, in disguise, is trying her best to not throw away the facade because not everyone in the kingdom knows that she leads this double life. This creates great tension. We have plans that went awry, and our characters are dealing with it. But what to do? How do we defuse this potential battle between one of the best sword wielders in all the land and our old, wounded Gwen? My character notices. My character, Pontifex Boo, arrives and is aware of the double life of Gwen while seeing that Helena is angry about the horse thievery. Let's go back to our scene fundamentals. Who is involved? Helena, Gwen, and Boo. Though Helena might not listen to Gwen in disguise, so Boo is more focused on Helena right now. Now what do we want? Helena wants to duel this horse thief as a punishment for stealing her prized horse. Gwen wants to leave to safety to shed this disguise and return to the party as herself. Boo, realizing who she is, in disguise, wants to help Gwen while keeping Gwen's double life intact. This would be a situation where we have two wants that butt heads with each other. We've talked about wants before, and the examples I set forth had wants that could cooperate with each other. Essentially, both sides could get what they want. But what if the wants oppose each other like here? How do we make that entertaining? It's important to say that we as players all understand the circumstances here. If we wanted to, we could just say, hey, it'd be a lot quicker here if we just fessed up and it'd be done. Tension gone. But if you're willing to play with it, we can have a lot more fun if we went after those wants as best we can. But you know what else would be a lot more fun? If you gave me a like, if you subscribed, left a comment. <laughs> I know I'm shameless. Speaking of going after those wants, let's jump into our tactics. Here's the meat of what happened. The commandment, if you will, by Marin, um, sister God, where she says, Thou shalt not duel a horse thief on the day of the thievery. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it would be ill of our quest if you dueled, <laughs> if you dueled this person today <laughs> and you could put it off until tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Pontifex is trying to use his power, lying about religious beliefs of the kingdom, to compel Helena to put off the duel. He realizes that Gwen is in disguise, so that when the next day comes, the mysterious horse thief will not show up, and Helena will be searching for someone that seemingly doesn't exist. Now this religious power is how Boo solves problems. This is his main tactic. This is the power he holds over everyone, except one. Pontifex, <laughs> you forget, I'm not a member of your church. Oh, fuck, that's right. <laughs> that's true. And I always say, why put off a duel when you can fight today? 
Now this is beautiful because this in fact is something that was established earlier in the session. Helena is maybe the only person in the kingdom who is not subject to the rules of Pontifex Boo's church. She doesn't have to bow down to me or the teachings, which helps our tug of war here. Because though we can easily stand aside to move forward because we as players understand the situation, the characters don't. So this little obstacle gives us a chance to build tension, which Helena does wonderfully as she doubles down on her point of view of insisting on the duel right now. <laughs> I, I, uh, but, uh, counter, counter <laughs> argument. You may not be a member of the church, but both I and Gwendolyn are. And perhaps this omen would un be unfortunate for your two friends, who, one of whom is here and the other is somewhere else. <laughs> Now I, as Boo, try to double down on my point of view by stressing that though this omen might not affect Helena, it could affect her teammates, Boo and Gwen, in our quest for the king. In which case the omen could result in our failure, a counter argument that insists that it might affect her anyway, though indirectly. I throw in a little dramatic irony here as well, because I want to help Gwen maintain her facade, and in a very heavy-handed way stress that Gwen is not here, while Gwen is here. Helena does concede a bit here, which gives me time to think and grasp at more straws. One of which is the obvious, that disguised Gwen is unarmed, and to duel an unarmed opponent would be dishonorable. At which point, Helena is willing to concede to put off the duel to the next day. Perhaps you're right. It can wait a day. <laughs> I have to give mega props to Zay here. Their moves were brilliant. We, together, were able to navigate this conflict by trusting in each other. They doubled down and found good reasons for Helena to not listen to Boo's pleas. And I doubled down as well as Boo, finding more reasons for Helena to delay. Zay was very gracious in being willing to concede the tug of war here. And it turned out pretty funny. But don't take my word for it, let me know what you thought down in the comments. The main takeaway I want you to learn from this is that we have our player side and our character side. And because we can separate the two, we have a unique opportunity to navigate these conflicts on the character side in fun ways as long as we keep our players in mind. If we do that, then we can have the characters play this game of tug of war and have one character win while the other character loses, while all of us as players win because of the fun we're having. The simplest way I can put it is that when we agree to play tug of war, we don't want someone to lose immediately. We also don't want both sides to be at a complete standstill forever. We want a good back and forth and then someone comes out on top. And the winner should be gracious too. In my case, I added the following to stress how much the characters support each other as a way of saying thank you. It can wait a day. <laughs> yes! Yes! Um, and uh, in this case, Pontifex Boo is going to try to, to uh, garner support for Helena now mm. and say, Helena is... Also righteous. <laughs> also a person of character. Do you see, people? Do you see? Now, as we wrap up, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Roll for Felicity, who invited me to this table, an absolutely incredible TTRPG content creator. I put the link to her Twitch and her YouTube down below. I highly recommend you follow her work. She was an incredible liege or GM of this game. Speaking of this game, it's Most Trusted Advisors by The Horizon Machine. An absolute blast, very flavorful, very fun to play. Also, you should check out Tag the Bard and Wild J Blue, who are absolute delights to play with. If you want to follow them, I put the links in the description below as well. If you found this valuable, please leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment if there's other content you'd like to see from me, or specific scenes you'd like to see played out or analyzed. Until next time, wherever you are, whenever it happens to be, I hope y'all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. <laughs>